That's a day uh, we're not going to forget. No. Absolutely not. And of course, we've had all these weather days that have gone on. You're a native of Arkansas. I'm yes. a native of Arkansas. We're going to add this one to the history books as we've known we for many, will. many years. And unfortunately, as you mentioned too, Karen, at Tuesday, two people did die in Cross County. We want to pull up some of the footage that has since been sent. And this that you see now is from Matthew Holt. You can see how tight the twister is. And it was one of two tornadoes that came through damaging everything, then ripping apart big buildings. This was a, a large scene. They are dealing with some of the worst devastation, especially in the city of Wynn. Mangled structures trapped people inside what had been their homes. Some of these buildings were completely leveled, and as you see in this video here, they're essentially just stacks of scrap metal this morning. Now, the city's opened up five shelters, one being a junior high school. An elementary and high school there were hit hard. Now in the aftermath, Cross County School District posted on Facebook encouraging people to support and uplift each other. The city just lifted a curfew, by the way. It will be lifted, well, it has been just a few minutes ago, about six minutes ago at 6 a.m. this morning. They are still asking outsiders, however, not to come into town unless they have specifically been requested to do so. They've also discouraged people from being on the streets, if at all possible, so work can get finished. In North Little Rock, the Pulaski County Coroner's Office confirms another death there. You'll see some of the damage here that the city experienced as a result of those storms yesterday. All sorts of trees down, houses damaged, and along with that, an electric department official reports many broken power poles and down lines, as you might expect. He says areas around Amboy and Indian Hills will be out of power for at least multiple days. You're looking at why trees toppled. And in the situation, he's saying calls for, quote, an entire infrastructure rebuild in parts of the city. Can you imagine? THV 11 Sarah Horbakowitz spoke with Ter Terry Hartwick, the mayor, about the challenge ahead. The first thing we're going to do is get the streets clean. I mean, we've got all hands on deck from sanitation, the street department, even our electric department has people. So we're clearing the streets, even as you see right now, has clean to the side. So we've got a massive, massive area of cleanup. But to get the streets clean, so if there was an emergency, you can get through and not have to be turned. That's the first thing. Second thing is we're going to concentrate mainly, without a doubt, to get the power back on for people. I, I, I can tell you right now it should be substantial, but uh, we're getting help and people from Conway, as we said, Jonesboro coming. But that's the main, get the power back on, get people back to normal as soon as possible. Getting people's power back on is now the issue, but just still reeling from the fact that this happened. We did have the warnings that we didn't used to have in the old right. days. I remember the Jonesboro tornado, but way back in the 70s. But yeah, you're right, Hayden, it is historic and we wish everyone well. Well, it's good to hear from the mayor too, especially Terry Hartwick and what he's able to talk about too. North Rock's a tight knit community. It's a big yeah. town. It's a lot of folks there too, but I mean, you think of folks, oh gosh, from Rose City to Lakewood. My mm -hmm. folks grew up in North Little Rock. Right. A lot of Northeast graduates. I've already heard from my folks that are pitching in and helping out and North Little Rock's a strong community. West Little Rock's a strong community and it's just mm -hmm. unbelievable to think too. These storms are common in Arkansas. We're used to them during right. the spring, but as Tom and Nathan and Scott and Corrales emphasized yesterday, too. The fact that it went over such a heavily populated yes. area is really the scary thing. It is, and that's why you're seeing those massive power mm. outages. Hayden and I both live in the West Little Rock area, and my mother and I, she's 86, from Arkansas. She's been through how many tornadoes? Mm. The sound that they describe, like a train, you may have heard it yesterday, the wind's coming, and it tells you you better do something and do it fast. Of course, the guys were telling that, us as well. That is it was scary. It was, it was wild too. It was really, really scary too. Had a new baby. Had a new baby. We were in the closet. Uh, we, of course, we saw that damage on Cantrell Road, the Purple Cow, that Pulaski Title, uh, Pulaski Title Company that was damaged. Mm -hmm. We live about a quarter of a mile from there. Oh, hey. And so we were in the closet, me yep. and the little man and, and the wife, and thankfully everyone's okay. Home's not damaged. We are doing just fine. Again, what we've talked about too is how fortunate we are. We don't yes. have any power right yes. now. That's okay. But we've talked about all these areas that have been impacted as well. And of course, this not only impacted West Little Rock, not only impacted Midtown here in mm -hmm. Little Rock, North mm -hmm. Little Rock, Jacksonville too, an area that was hit. And again, this is the video of what I was just describing. This is that Pulaski County title company building that is, uh, it's a little bit of a surreal situation for me to see. Because again, my wife and my six week old mm -hmm. son live 
Yeah, folks, if you can see right behind that building is about two blocks that way is where, oh, you know, <laughs> per, so close. you know, my, my parents live in this area. So it, it was a scary situation, but we were so blessed. We were so fortunate. We did not receive any damage. So many folks not as fortunate. So we're thinking of you. Hopefully we can get this cleanup uh, done as quickly as possible. But it was just such uh, a wild situation just on a Friday afternoon. On a Friday afternoon, and yes, and our, our weather team did a great job getting you prepared. And folks, if you know people who do not have power and you can communicate with them, do pass along yes. all of the information we're bringing you this morning. They obviously can't get online or can't get the internet in any way, so please pass along what you can to the folks you love and care about. Mm. Now we